This Grand Seiko is perfect in almost every way. And that's not something that happens often in the watch world. This watch can be your only watch and literally serve you for almost every occasion. And I think it will do it even better than the Rolex Explorer. Brilliant design, proportion, size. Thanks to its curved case, the watch fits the wrist perfectly. Everything about this watch is great. I liked this watch when I first tried it on my wrist and now I'm very excited to spend more time with this simple yet cool Grand Seiko SBGX261. The watch is super comfortable on my 17cm wrist. It has that perfect balance, not too small and not too big, just perfect. I have to warn you though, if you have a quartz intolerance, this watch is not for you. But I think if you are a watch enthusiast that doesn't like quartz, these two major watch brands can get away with quartz. I'm talking about Cartier and Grand Seiko. The Grand Seiko Quartz is far superior to your ordinary quartz movement. It is in-house, it's finished well, and it's crazy accurate. The stated accuracy is plus minus 10 seconds per year. This is insane. And this is the cheapest Grand Seiko you can buy. But it's not cheap with its finishing, it features the same Zarazzo polishing. The case polishing doesn't seem to me like anything special, just a very good polishing. You get the same scratches from the regular wear, but on the hands and markers, I can see the difference. The polishing and finishing are amazing there. And the second's hand works flawlessly. There is no wiggle and it hits the marks perfectly, unlike some other same or more expensive quartz watches. The stated battery life is about 3 years, so you would need to replace the battery about every 3 years, which is not bad. It also has an instant day change mechanism. Often with quartz watches you have a very slow day changing, like a couple of hours sometimes, which is kinda annoying for me. It is a very versatile and capable dressy watch that can be taken to our office, dress occasion, on vacation, to pool or beach. A truly versatile piece. No nature inspired dials here. Just a simple plain made black dial. I like simple watches and I like smaller watches. I think it is harder to make a small great watch. The specifications are perfect. You get the most important and useful ones with this watch. You have an anti-reflective coating on the inner surface of the sapphire crystal, the watch diameter 37mm, lock to lock 44.6mm, thickness 10mm. The lock size is 19mm. The water resistance rating is 100 meters. The watch is also anti-magnetic. The weight is 134 grams. So the watch has 100 meters of water resistance but not screw down crown, which would make some people uncomfortable to take this watch for a swim. The case has spring bar holes to make the strap replacement an easy process, which is cool. I wish more watches had it. But with the lock size of 19 millimeters, you might be limited by strap options. There are a few things I wish they improved with this model. The bracelet is solid and good, but I wish it was tapered and had a micro adjustment option. The watch has no loom, but the finishing makes it visible even in a very poor light. Of course, you won't be able to see the time in the complete dark, but even with minimal light, the watch could be readable, thanks to its incredible Zarazzo markers finishing. So I think this Grand Seiko is a perfect Rolex Explorer alternative. Or just great watch for people who appreciate well-made watches and Japanese craftsmanship and accuracy. The watch is also much cheaper than Rolex and should be available to buy from your local Grand Seiko AD. Or you can buy it online from AD that sells watches online. Big shout out and thanks to Restime Co for lending me this Grand Seiko for a review. Additionally, with Grand Seiko you won't have any Rolex stigma. Grand Seiko is still a watch enthusiast or watch nerds brand. For most regular folks out there, it would be just a Seiko. I think it's great going anywhere do anything watch, a simple no-nonsense companion for your wrist. Let me know what you think, could it be your one watch? Or Quartz is a deal breaker for you? Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, it helps the channel to be discovered. Check out my other watch reviews and consider subscribing. I appreciate your support. I will see you next time. Bye now and take care.